Guys, building wealth does not start with money. In fact, the most important stuff that it takes to build wealth doesn't cost you a dime. How do I know? Because there's people who have built wealth starting from nothing. So how did they build wealth or start to build wealth if they didn't have any money? That's the question that we got to ask ourselves. And the reason that they're able to build wealth without starting with money is because real wealth, it starts before the money starts happening. Real wealth really starts with the assets that I'm going to share with you in this video. I'm going to talk to you about the top five wealth building assets that don't cost you money. And please, whatever you do, stay tuned for number five, because number five is the easiest and it's really the most important. And it's the one thing out of all five of these, number five is the one that anybody absolutely anywhere in any condition on this planet can do. Number five is the one that most people just sort of overlook and don't think about, but it's really important. Now let's go ahead and jump into the five assets that are going to help you build wealth that don't cost you any money. Now the first asset that you really need that doesn't cost any money, and it's the obvious elephant in the room, and it's time. Time is an asset. Yes, the more time you have, the more you can build wealth. But please remember this, guys. As long as you're blinking and as long as you're breathing and you're alive, then you've got access to one of the most vital assets you could ever have, and that's time. And if you're watching this video right now, you've got some time. That's an asset that you can use in your favor to help you build some wealth. Now, how much time you have versus how much time the next person have or I have, we don't know how much time we have, right? We just don't know it. But it's definitely a tremendously valuable asset that we've got access to. Everybody has the same 24 hours every single day, and that 24 hours don't cost you anything. But the key is it could cost you everything if you don't manage it properly, right? I bet if you took a poll of all the people who have lived on Earth and have left Earth, if you ask them a question as if that's possible, we know it's not possible, but hypothetically, if you ask all the people who have been born and died on the planet Earth, if you ask them the one thing they wish they had more of, probably 90% of them would say, I wish I had more time because time is that valuable, right? Most of them wouldn't say, I wish I had more money. They wish they had more time. People that build wealth tend to be very good managers of their time. It's too valuable to waste. Now let's go to number two. The second asset, wealth building asset that doesn't cost any money is your gifts, your talents. What do you do well? What do you do better than most people naturally? That's your gift, your talent, your purpose, your assignment. What do you do well? What is that one or two things that you're supposed to deliver to the people of the world? What is that gift? Look, I believe that God never created anything without a purpose, without an assignment, and without the gifts that are necessary to fulfill that purpose or that assignment. That purpose is inside of you. That gift is inside of you. How do you bring that thing out? That is an asset that you have. Like everybody doesn't have your gift. Everybody doesn't have my gift. Whatever that gift is that you have, that is an asset that you could use to your advantage to build some wealth or to start to build wealth. And your gift doesn't cost you any money. You got it. The key is identify the gift, identify the assignment, know the purpose, understand what is the gift or talent that you're supposed to deliver to the world and the people of the world. Use that gift or talent, whatever it may be, use it to serve people and monetize it. Learn to monetize it. Understand how you can monetize it. That's wealth building. And it didn't cost you a dime to get that asset. It came with you, right? It's those gifts that make you valuable to the world. It's those gifts that make you valuable to the people of the world. If you're able to identify that, identify your purpose, your assignment, your gift, your talent, that's wealth. And you may be saying, well, how do I find that gift? Look, there's lots of ways to find the gift. Maybe you talk to the people that you're closest with. Maybe your friends, your family, your network of good people who are around you and know you. How do you make them feel when you're around? What type of feeling do they get when you come around? Do you make them laugh? Do you make them feel safe? Do you make them feel what that could be a part of your gift. Maybe you reflect on times in your life when you were the most joyful and doing something you really enjoyed and loved to do. Perhaps that could be your gift or your talent. Or perhaps it's just what do you do naturally better than most people and it was given to you the day you were born and you didn't even know you had it, but you really begin to think about it and you say, well, I'm pretty good at this. Other people are not good at that. 
Maybe that's my talent. Maybe it's that's my purpose and my assignment to deliver to the world and the people of the world. But when you identify that gift or talent, that purpose or assignment, you will be at the point where you have an asset that you could use to help you start building wealth. Guys, if you get any value out of this video, do me a favor. Please smash that like button below. And also, share this video with your family, your friends, or your network of good people. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, number three is this. Number three is health. Health is wealth. How you take good care of the one body that you have, that's wealth. Having that health allows you the energy to go out and get the wealth. But the health in the beginning is an asset to you. If you are a healthy person who doesn't have a lot of healthy challenges, that's an asset. And if you want to get better at that health, it don't cost any money to go take a walk. It doesn't cost any money to walk on a daily basis. It doesn't cost a whole lot more money to eat better. It doesn't cost a whole lot more money to drink water and to make sure that what you're bringing into your body is helping you be healthy. So it doesn't cost a lot of money to have good health. I know we think, oh, we got to lift weights and we got, no, no, you could drop down and do push-ups and sit-ups and leg raises and burpees and th these things. You don't, it don't cost nothing to be in good shape. It doesn't cost nothing to take good care of your health. Your health is an asset that doesn't cost you any money. Look, if you take good care of your physical well-being, you take good care of your body, you eat right, you get enough sleep, you eat the healthy things, right? You exercise and you get movement and you stay active. If you do all those things, those things don't cost money. Yeah, you may want a $50, $100 a month gym membership, but do you really need it to be in shape? No, you don't. You just have to eat less, eat right, drink more water, walk, get plenty of sleep, and take good care of your temple, your body. Health is wealth. Health is an asset, right? Being as healthy as you can be, given the current state of natural things that are going to happen to you in terms of health, we can't predict and make sure that we stay healthy all of our lives. We just don't know that's going to happen. There may be things that happen to us genetically with our health that we don't know about. But if you can do the very best you can do with what you can control regarding your health, you're going to be healthier. And guess what? That is an asset that you could use. Health is wealth. Now, number four, the fourth asset that doesn't cost any money, that can help you build some wealth is people, right? People are an asset. Matter of fact, people are one of the greatest resources on the face of the planet. And having the right people around you and the right people speaking into your life, giving you positive messages, who provide you with that life and that energy and that motivation and encouragement, having those type of people, the right people around you is a true asset that's underrated. Look, if you're around broke people all day who are speaking destruction, who are speaking death and are just super negative all the time, guess what? That's going to seep into you and it's going to make wealth building or making some type of successful transition to do something different with your life. It's going to make it all the more difficult. But guess what? If you got the right people, it helps out tremendously. It's a huge asset. The right people around you can really push you to a whole nother level with your personal finances. See, because I believe that building wealth is more than what we see. Because in order to start building wealth, you got to start seeing something that is not there. In order to start building a building, you have to see the building on paper in a rendering or drawn up you have to see a mock version of a building before you even start to build the building, right? I believe our personal finances is the exact same way. We have to see what is the possibility? Where can we go? What is the vision down the road before I even start to do things that's going to change my situation financially? And so if you have the wrong people around you who aren't helping you see that vision, that could be a problem. But if you got the right people around you who see and understand the vision that you're trying to get to with your personal finances, that's just going to push you even further. And remember, it's not how many people you have around you. It's the quality of the network of people that you're surrounded with that makes them the asset or not. Because the right people around you as an asset, they're going to be the connections you need to get to another level. They're going to be able to in introduce you to new ideas, to new people, to new perspectives, and they're going to help grow you. And growth is a wealth building activity. Now, 
I ask you to stick around for number five because number five is probably, if I had to rank them, it might be the most important one on this list. And it's the one that a lot of people sort of overlook. The fifth asset that everyone has access to and doesn't cost any money is simply belief. Having the right belief system is an asset when you're trying to build some wealth. What you think about your ability to build wealth will have a major, major impact on whether or not you ultimately build wealth or not. Your belief system is a major, major asset and your belief system costs no money. It's your choice. You have a decision to make about what you believe about your future. So here's the deal. If you have a decision to believe about your future, why not believe the best? Because your belief about building wealth can be a major asset or guess what? It can be a major detriment to you as well. This is why number five here, belief is so critical because the beauty is, is that you get to choose what you believe. And no matter who you are or what your circumstances is with your personal finances right now today, how you believe it will be in the future can either help you get there or it can hurt you from getting there. Think about it. If we're both, me and you, if we're on a track, a track about to run around the track one time, and I strongly believe that I can get around that track one time, and you strongly disbelieve. You don't think you can do it. You're not sure. You haven't ran in a while. You're very unsure about yourself. You don't think you can do it. Then guess what? Who between me and you is going to be the one that's more likely to, to succeed? The person, me, who believes I can do it or the person you who believes you can't do it? The person who's going to be more likely to succeed is going to be me because I believe it. Because if I believe it, I've already won half the battle just by believing it. Now, apply that to wealth building, right? Sometimes when you're doing something like building some wealth, wanting to get out of debt, do something really big with your personal finances, the only thing you have is belief, right? The only thing you start with is a belief. Belief is so powerful. It's so powerful as an asset that sometimes when it comes to your money, belief is the only thing that you have access to. You don't have more income. You have a pile of debt. You don't have an emergency fund. You don't have a good job that makes a lot of money. You may not have none of that. But if you have some belief, that's where it starts. That's the first thing you need to start getting to where you want to be with your personal finances. Belief is a powerful asset. Sometimes belief is the absolute only thing that keeps you going when you're trying to work on a goal with your personal finances or in life. Sometimes just the belief is what wakes you up out of bed, is what forces you to do some of the things that you need to be doing in that day. Sometimes just belief is all you got, right? You may not have the greatest health in the world. You may not have a whole lot of time on your side. You may not even have good friends and family and network of people around you. And you may not even know what your personal gift is. What are your, what is your talent? What is your purpose? What is your assignment? You may not have or know any of that, but if you have belief, belief can pull you through. Belief can get you to the point where you say, you know what? I don't have a whole lot right now. I'm just doing this thing on faith or on belief that I can do it. And you just get going, right? Because all those things that you think that you're short on or don't have, belief can make up for all of that in a split second. Just having the belief can get you through all that stuff. And belief, for many people who've tried to start building wealth from nothing, belief has been the greatest and most important asset that they have. That's why, in my opinion, just having the belief that it's possible to build some wealth may be your absolute most important greatest asset that doesn't cost you any money. Hey, that's my five wealth building assets that don't cost money. Guys, do me a favor. Smash the like button below. Share this information with your friends, your family, and your network of good people. And please drop me a comment below. Let me know another asset, wealth building asset, that doesn't cost any money. Put that in the comments below for me because on this channel, guys, we want to do away with all of the excuses for not building wealth. We want to do away with all of the reasons why people say I can't build wealth today. We want to get rid of those excuses and we want to encourage, inspire, and motivate you to believe that you can do it. The best person who's going to take care of the old you is the young you. Guys, do me a favor. Take care of yourself. 
and take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.